Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. In this video, I'm going to show you how I like to level up fast as someone with over 2,000 hours of experience playing this game. Now, you don't need 2,000 hours to be able to do this. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. We're going to be playing with these settings right here, an almost 12 times difficulty modifier with all of these settings. I'll also put them in the description down below if you want to copy them for yourself. Now, I'm going to explain everything as we go along, and I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time uh, let's hop into the game let's go Alrighty, here we go uh as the guy in the in the truck says so the idea of the challenge is uh that we are going to be playing or at least starting out as if it's a campbell would win strategy which is where you start the game with zero percent sanity and then you try to figure out the ghosts during the hunts that you're gonna get. Now, what I find kind of silly about the Camp Woodwind strategy in particular is that people don't do anything else besides figuring out the ghost during a hunt. If they cannot figure out the ghost during a hunt, because for example, it's a Yure or it's a Gorio or it's an Onryo or any other ghost, like half the ghost you can't figure out during a hunt, people just give up. They leave, they don't actually try and figure out the ghost after that, which I think is kind of a shame because there are so many cool ghosts that you can't figure out during a hunt and it's really skillful and it really shows that you know everything about the game if you actually try and figure out those ghosts as well and you can still get a lot of experience in the process because we're playing right now on a 12 times difficulty modifier if you want to see the exact settings i will link it in the description down below you will you can copy the settings for yourself so we're starting with we actually have the screens as well we're starting with zero percent sanity but we still have sanity pills that are hopefully gonna regenerate or that are gonna allow us to get our sanity back if we do have to do like a demon test or other kinds of difficult or like a mare test or something uh we're gonna walk in here we're gonna immediately try and turn on the lights now the ghost um because we have the breaker on by default now the ghost will be hunting very soon here we hope to turn these lights on we're gonna be trying this i don't know which map is the best for this so we're gonna just start off on tanglewood oh hello okay let's see if it's gonna find us here uh hello 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 Hello, hello, let's do a yokai test. Yokai test, yokai test. Hello, hello. Okay, so the ghost can't find us. It doesn't sound any faster. Wait. Yes, it's finding us. Okay. Wait, it's actually something that. Wait. It's a gin. It's a gin. Look at that. <laughs> right? It sped up as soon as it saw me. Uh, it wasn't like a uh, right you would have spe sped up earlier. So yeah, this is how part of the part of the runs are gonna be like this Some of the runs we're gonna figure it out instantly. We're gonna fill it in and leave But let's say that that ghost wasn't obvious we would stick around so that's gonna potentially be next round I don't know and you're gonna see just how much um, How much experience we're still gonna get here by the way, it's gonna be absolutely awesome it was indeed the gin. All right, so there you go. That was 2,300 experience from literally a one minute run. Let's uh, run that back and see if we get that lucky again. All right, let's see. We got April Shawcross. Uh, so we're starting with a hunt again. Uh, we're starting with a hunt. We grab a smudge stick. We want to turn on the lights. Uh, we're in Edgefield right here. We want to turn on two lights right here and right here and then we have all the lights we need and we're just gonna sit here to do a hunt test now we're as i said we're gonna try this on all of the different maps you could do a yokai test right here but i think that's kind of risky i think i'd rather just start with like a gin test um it's not hunting yet it's just a door upstairs it is upstairs why is it waiting so long what the fuck oh it's hunting Okay, that actually took genuinely five minutes. That's insane. Wait, it's... Oh, it's a Dio? Wait, it's a Hantu? Is it, it's a Hantu? I think. This is not a Dio, right? Can we lose it? Yeah, it's a Hantu. Okay, so for the Hantu, it has a... That's so weird that it didn't hunt for that long, but... Uh, why are we getting so many ghosts that we can figure out during a hunt? I mean, that's 50% of the time you can figure out the ghost during a hunt. But a hantu has, um, uh, it cannot speed up. The, temp the, the temperature, uh, decides what speed the hantu will be. So if it's low temperature, the hantu will be really fast. If it's high temperature, the hantu will be really slow. Now, because we are starting with the breaker on by default here, uh, the temperature is going to be really high in the house. 
uh, because we start off on with the breaker. Uh, so in this case, the Hunter was really slow. But if you're starting with the breaker off, the Hunter was actually going to be really fast at the start. Now, Mimics are going to be just uh, like Mimics are going to fool us here. There's just you could do double hunt tests to figure out if it's a Mimic. But yeah, there you go. Another Hantu, another 2000 easy peasy in another three minutes. That was like genuinely so long um, that it didn't hunt there. All right, let's do Richview. You got Dave Young. Hi, Dave. How are you doing? What do we got? We would like to do Escape the Ghost during a Hunt, Ghost Event, and EMF Raider. We can do those. Uh, probably not worth to do those if you are... I mean, you could totally do them. Like, grabbing an EMF Raider and getting the EMF is... For, for, like, a massive amount of extra cash is worth it. But you can also just do multiple games. Turn on as many lights as possible. Here we go. So depending on where the ghost is coming from, we're going to do different tests. Let's see. Uh, if it comes from there, it's going to be easy gin test. If it comes from upstairs, the gin test is a little harder. We still do it over here. Still not hunting. Again, like the sh like the, the haunter from before. Oh. Ooh. Okay, then. This is going to be really bad. I'm going to have to... I actually might die here. Jesus Christ. It, it might have been a phantom or... A was it a phantom? I don't think it was a phantom. Okay, that was a little scary. It might be a Wraith or Banshee because it uh, roamed to us. It definitely sped up, so no Hauntu, no Thay, no Dio because I'm still alive, no Moroi because it's not fast, no Raichu because it's not fast, no Myling because it's totally normal speed. I don't think it was a phantom. It looked fine. It's not a Revenant because it wasn't super fast. So just like that, we've already ruled out quite a lot of ghosts right there. Um, Damn, dude, this ghost is fucking angry. Alrighty then. Um, I'm gonna grab more smudge sticks here. I smudged the ghost. I didn't really uh, write down when, but I think at around 26 here. Um, yeah, something around 26. So if we, yeah, we can see it right here. We smudged the ghost pretty much as soon as the hunt happened. So 60 minutes ago, or 60 seconds ago, not minutes. Uh, we're gonna grab this. We're gonna grab two smudges here so we can smudge the ghost and keep ourselves alive. So if the ghost is gonna hunt, but this is not a speedy ghost, which I'm glad we get one of these as well. Um, if the ghost is gonna hunt after 90 seconds, it's just a normal ghost. If it hunts before 90 seconds have passed, it is a demon. And ooh, the air ball. Just turn off a light. Suspicious. Just doesn't like the light, huh? Are you perhaps a, a mayor? This is very difficult, but I don't... I need to be very careful because I only have like a one second grace period here. We're just tr testing for... Maybe it's a spirit. It's not hunting. One minute and 30 seconds passed. Um, hmm? Can you give us a sign? It's spooky that it's over there. I mean, it's also kind of over here. Want to be careful. We're going to smudge it again. We already did it. We can do a gin test right here. See if it's a gin. Uh, oh, it knocked on this window now. Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, is this actually a Banshee or a Wraith? Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be a ba Wraith or Banshee. 100%. Right? It's not a spirit because it hunted before three minutes have passed. That is the second time it hunted exactly on top of me. Which is very dangerous, obviously. Um... <laughs> the hell yeah i think we have zero grace period here you can do this with one grace period for a little extra or a little less cash it doesn't matter too much i just thought like this is just a test because usually when i do no evidence i do like a normal run where i just start with 100 percent sanity and we just play through the game like normal but i wanted to meet people that purely want to use hunting strategies halfway okay you are an absolute maniac i think it is about time that we uh consider taking our sanity pills it's hard because we couldn't do a gin test there because once again, it was like right on top of us. Um, it feels like it's either a Banshee or a Wraith. We should grab the salt here, but we need to be... Like if it hunts on top of us, then we're dead because we can't smudge the ghost with zero frames. Uh, let's grab the salt. Let's grab the salt for now. Because, I mean, if it's still going to be right next to us, that's going to be so suspicious. Hopefully it doesn't... We can't... It can't hunt right away. Can it? Because I have a... I'll put it here, here, and here. Just all over the place. And then I grab this. And then I... Th oh, wait. No, that's not the lighter. Where's the lighter? There. Now I'm going to go away. So how do you test for Banshee? 
banshees. Um, oh. I can actually just walk away here. I probably not have to use my smudge. We can check later if it's stepped in the in the salt there. We're just gonna go away from it. I don't know if it's an Obake. Obake will be shape shifting into different ghosts or uh, uh, different ghost models. We can do a yokai test. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, it's probably not a yokai. I think the ghost is going to stop hunting here. Yes, it did. Okay, so no yokai because it found us easily when we just started talking to it or, and showed our equipment. Because the yokai can only detect that from really close by. It did stop an assault, so not a wraith. So it could be a banshee. Uh, let's see. I want to do a gin test. It's going to be really... If this is a banshee, I could really die here. I should actually kind of grab a smud. I really want to do a gin test. Could you back off for a sec so I can do a gin test? Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do a gin test. Okay, not a gin. We should be able to hide here, but this is kind of stupid. Oh, this is very stupid. Okay, it worked. Um, so it's not... Oh, wait. It could, it's not a gin because it didn't speed up. It did throw quite a bit. Um, <laughs> uh, it's throwing a lot of stuff, but maybe not too much for a for a or poltergeist. Step out here. Okay, so is it an oni? I don't think it's an oni, right? It doesn't seem like it's an obaka. We've never seen a shape shift. I feel like we would have seen that at this point, but we could do more tests here. It's just that it's like in this really dangerous area. Like, where it, like, can hunt on top of us. So, let's grab a Crucifix. We're just gonna mix and match here a little bit. Um, we're gonna grab a Crucifix and a Candle to test for on Rio preemptively. You can grab that just for the objective, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we'll grab this anyway. I mean, we could grab a Paramic as well to test for Banshee. But it didn't actually come to us there. That's pretty weird. Pretty interesting how when we were there, it was just stalking us nonstop, but over there, it didn't seem to want to join us. So we're going to place this right here. So at least now we know that it's not going to hunt on top of this small area here, right? That we have a little bit more safety. We should have another smudge stick, right? Did I not bring another smudge stick? I guess I didn't bring another smudge stick. Let's grab just a bunch of items. Put this here because it might be in the living room as well. Uh, it blew out the candle. There we go. Okay, so our smudge should be... Oh, blew, turn off the light. Interesting. All right, the smudge is right here. So this is... It used it, but we didn't light the... Hello. Doing a... Singing ghost event again. I'm just going to leave you to it. I'm going to point the... We should actually th take this time to really quickly test for this. Test for mimic. I'm not seeing any orbs right off it's not doing orbies here uh, i blew out the candle again light the can oh my god every time dude it uses the <laughs> that's so rude because if the candle was still on it turned off the light again this could this could actually totally be a mare here we just really need to babysit this uh is it in the dining seems like it's in the dining we really need to be careful here. Just sit on the crucifix. Uh, so no Orbeez means no Mimic. No Shade because it hunted on top of us as well. Um, Gorio is possible. Gorio is like by far the hardest for no evidence. So that's good. If we get a Gorio, that's just really unlucky. Uh, this is the tier two crucifix. So we can use it twice. Let's just keep an eye on... It should have hunted there, right? Because it was the third blowout, I think. It's blowing out the candle now. Is this an on Rio? It can't hunt in this circle, right? So we're safe in the circle. The circle is our safety zone. I just really need to use need you to use this crucifix while the candle is turned on. Not on my watch. It's actually <laughs> what the hell? It's blowing out the candle nonstop, not hunting. Maybe an on Rio here. That would be a real that is a ghost you can't just figure out with uh with one hunt. You have to actually look for the behavior there. I think it might be an on It's just stopped hunting altogether suddenly. You might have to grab a candle real soon here, though. Because this candle is going to run out. 
And every because it did blow out that candle and then immediately use the crucifix. It seems like it's uh it's an on Rio here. This would be so stupid if this is like just random. That's a What, did you just come from the basement? What? What's that? Oh, I blew out the candle again. I can use my own lighter as a candle as well. You don't have to. I think I'm going to just use my lighter now. This has to be an Unreal. If this is not an Unreal, then we just got extremely baited here. Um, but it was using that crucifix nonstop. And then as soon as I kept the candle lit, it kept blowing out the candle, meaning it was there, but it stopped hunting because the candle for an Unreal works like a crucifix. If the ghost wants to hunt, if it's an Unreal, it first checks, is there, a, is there a candle nearby? If there is, it blows it out. If there isn't, it will then check crucifix and use the crucifix. So what that means is that if you ever get the ghost to use a crucifix when it's underneath a, a lit candle, then you know it is uh, not an Unreal because an Unreal couldn't do that. So we're gonna say Unreal here. Now, um, there's always a thing with these type of be behavior that you could get unlucky. Like you could have a, a Yure that never roams and never uses it as its ability, which makes it seem like a Gorio. But there you go. It wasn't on Rio. And just like that, we have shown our skill and we actually got more money there. I should have used the EMF. We got more money there because we did a few extra objectives as well. And that feel like this feels satisfying as hell to me. Like knowing that I bested that ghost by figuring it out using its ability rather than just listening. Oh, this is a revenant. Let me get the fuck out of here. I don't know. This is my opinion, but let's do a few more rounds. All right, what do we got? We got Edward Straffen. Uh, Repel is going to be easy. Incense is going to be easy. And Paramike we're going to have to do if it's a Banshee regardless. So that's going to be nice. Let's see it. Also, I'm using fog weather, by the way, for no reason besides it gives a high reward. You could also do heavy rain. Both of them give equal rewards. It's, I think both of them are considered the hardest weather by the devs. It just doesn't really matter to me. It's just that heavy rain makes it a little harder to hear the ghost footsteps because obviously the rain is very loud. So I like to run with, uh, with the fog instead. Can you give me a sign? I think windy also counts as as the hardest weather for some reason. All right, it's not hunting right now. Oh, it is. Oh, it's fast. This is a deal. Okay. <laughs> See? I mean, that's the free... <laughs> the freest ghost of all time right there. Hello, buddy. How you doing? This is like the... F oh, it's double back. This is the favorite ghost of anyone trying to get a quick game. I'm going to have to smudge it just so I get the objectives here. Um, it could be a mimic, which will be an absolute troll. But I'm just going to say that that's a deal. This is going to give us a lot because we actually got to do some objective as well. Let's go. Yo, no mimic. No no unlucky. Uh, that's an, that's uh, the exact same payout as that <laughs> the, the on Rio. We had two minutes though. You can see like... This is the thing. This is why I think it's like, uh, like it's a really effective way to grind to just quit if you don't get the ghost during the hunt. But at least show to yourself that you can also beat it. Uh, like you can beat an actual regular no evidence run. Um, because just knowing the hunting abilities is only like a small portion of the game. All right, let's see, what do we got? We have Barbara Shellin. Ocean sensor, paramic, and escape the ghost. You know that ghost. Let's hop in there. <clears throat> we're not gonna get. We're not going for perfect games here. We're just going for um, knowing the ghost every time. Like this is a really high difficulty, and we're still managing to figure out the ghost. That's a. That's that's cool in my opinion. That's fun. Oh, hello. Right there. Wait, this is a. Oh, it is fast. It's weird. What the fuck? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead as hell. What is this ghost doing? Can you hide here? I don't think you can hide here. It's a ride shoot. Because it was slow and then suddenly really fast. And all the lights are blinking really weird as well. By the way, speaking of ride shoes. Ride shoes are way more weird than I thought they were. Um, I got extremely lucky there, by the way. 
But what is with this all these fucking hunting ghosts? We're trying to show that we can also figure out the other ghosts. We're just getting hunting ghosts. Um, so the Raichu, when close to electronics, will set its speed flat to 2.5 meters per second, which the normal speed of a ghost, at least the start, is 1.6 meters per second, right? If I remember correctly, those numbers. Um, and the maximum speed of any ghost when it's just like chasing the player is 2.8. So technically, normal ghosts can be faster than the Raichu when they're at their max speed. But it takes like 15 seconds of constant chasing for them to be at that max speed. But what happens with the Raichu, which is really weird, the Raichu speeds up over time when chasing the player, but not when near electronics. If you turn on the flashlight, it will set its speed flat to 2.5, and it won't speed up beyond 2.5 to 2.8 which has actually like made me lose a no evidence run a while ago because I did not know that. I thought that, what the hell, it stopped. I thought that the um, Raichu would still speed up over time even when near electronics, but that's just not how it works. Okay, we get salt, tier three salt. Uh, actually we can, I mean, I don't think I wanna use that here necessarily, but it's fun to have. Uh, cause this is gonna mess with the ghost uh, behavior and I don't want anything to mess with the ghost behavior. Well, it's another one minute run. Anyway, moving on. All right, we got Eric Shawcross. I thought for a second that was Lisa, but no. Back on Tanglewood, which uh, Tanglewood can be... It takes a while. Like, if you're playing at no sanity, Tanglewood can be a bit scary. Because you have to turn on... You have to get to the kitchen, which is where the good looping spots are. So the ghost could hunt before that, and then you're in trouble. Let's see that. I'm not doing Camp Woodwind here, because I just don't like... Camp. I mean, we could do Camp Woodwind. It's just not a very fun map to me. Like, it's really good for the if you want to just quit after the first hunt. Because it's really easy to get the ghost to spot you during the hunt. Like, because it's such an open map, uh, it's really easy to test for hunting abilities. But it's really bad to test for anything besides hunting abilities. And since we actually want to do a true run here, it did the radio. We, It's better to play on maps like this, in my opinion. And you give me a sign. Okay, turn off the radio. So it is in the boys' bedroom here, I think. It's not hunting. What is it with these ghosts that t take a long time before they hunt when you're at no sanity? Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. It's a revenant. Can you stop giving me these ghosts? These are too easy, dude. <laughs> this is so stupid. It challenged me, baby. Give me a fucking banshee. Make me work for it. Instead of this easy garbage. So, the revenant is really slow when not chasing the player. I'm over here. Oh, come on. But extremely fast when chasing the player. I was trying to get the ghost to find me there, but it didn't do that. Now, I could... Can we... What are our objectives? Cleanse the ghost is our objective. I did that real quick there. And then we could technically check for Mimic Orbs really quickly here. Just uh, rule out that possibility. Imagine it's a Mimic. That would be amazing. Okay, so it's not... Let me just turn this off. We shouldn't get a hunt here unless it mimics into a demon. Imagine. <laughs> That'd be incredible. We are turned on this thing over here. I'm not seeing any orbs. Just a quick check. Obviously, you could just leave and take the, take the loss if it's, a, if it's a Mimic. But we're here to try and... Figure it out properly. I mean, I don't see any orbs, so I'm gonna head out of here. Should just be a revenant. There you go. It was a revenant. Extremely slow. Two, almost three thousand easy peasy two minutes. But please, give me a give me a difficult run. Let's do one on Edgefield. What do we got? We got Eric Sherman this time. <laughs> Another Eric. Uh, wait, we. I'm just going into autopilot. We need to do a special run here. They summoned the ghost with a cursed item. Then where's that cursed item? Because we don't got any cursed item. That is... You're lying. Alrighty, easy setup. This one is way safer because you're right next to the, the... The lights immediately. Can you give us a sign? What the fuck? Oh, here we go. Why? Oh, I'm fucking dead. Oh, God. It's fast as shit, dude. Why every single fucking time do I get a special ghost? Uh, 
This is too slow for, th or it's not slow fast enough for Thay, right? I think it's a Moroi. Is it fast enough for Thay? I feel like it's, oh my God, hello. Jesus Christ. Um, it's, that is, I would say, I think this is the highest, the, the most difficult part for stuff during the hunt for me is figuring out the difference between a Thay and a Moroi because they're both extremely fast. We could do a, we could do another check. Let's let's do a proper check for this. So the difference between Thay and Moroi. Actually, you know what we can do? Wait, I have an amazing, cause we got sanity pills here. You know what we can do? We could literally just take two sanity pills at the start of, or take three sanity pills at the start of the hunt. And then if it gets slower, we know it's, uh, it's a Moroi. If it doesn't get slower, we know it's a thing. And we're gonna have enough smudge sticks here so that we don't get ourselves killed. Uh, let's just do do this quick test here. How? Wait, didn't I smudge it? Okay, it's still getting fast. It's still fast. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. No, stay away. Stay away. Why did it hunt so fast? Budget. This is fucked up, dude. Okay. Well, it did not get any slower, <laughs> so it's definitely a thing. <laughs> Holy shit! Why did it hunt so fast after that smudge? That was very interesting. Okay, so definitely a thing because when I took all those sanity pills, it didn't get any slower. Um, now it is kind. It's harder now because it actually takes a little while for the sanity pills to start giving you sanity. But as you can see right here, we should have been more than high enough sanity for that ghost to become slower which it didn't do so should be thay very weird that it hunted so soon after that last hunt though when i smudged it i don't know what happened there because the thay doesn't have a the thay doesn't have the demon ability right not at high not at when it's uh young interesting there you go that was another thay uh another one of the obvious obvious ghosts which we're, we have at least seen, at least, obviously we've been getting a lot of ghosts that you can figure out during the hunt, but at least we've been getting a variety of ghosts that we can figure out during the hunt, not just the same one over and over again. Oh, it is so fucking fast, dude. Oh, it is hella speedy. <laughs> well, that shit is literally, it sounds like the exact same speed as the previous round, so sure, we're gonna just say that it's a thing. That is, uh, I'm unlucky lucky, I'm lucky unlucky, because I really wanna show, like, how you can figure out, uh, I mean, we can talk about them, how you can figure out the different ghosts, like the, the Goryeo, the Yure, the, um, Banshee is fun, uh, Spirits, They're, they all have ways you can figure them out, uh, but not if we keep getting this lucky. There you go, another thing. Uh, but get the tier three photo camera. I'll unlock that. That that could have been a um that could have technically been a mimic, but it's really unlikely for the mimic to be that fast because when a mimic turns into a thay, it will set a random age. So for it to be the max speed of a thay, it has to roll. It has to roll like a natural twenty. Like it has to be really really lucky, which is unlikely. All right, what do we got? We have Alex Brooks cleanse, escape the ghost in EMF. Those are gonna be really nice objectives. All right, please. I really want a ghost that's not gonna be instantly obvious. Sounds faster, it's the twins. Is it? it? Sounds faster than usual. I think this is twins. This is so stupid. <laughs> this is so hey, I mean, at the very least, it's showing you all of the different sounds you need to look out for. So that was slightly faster than the other ghosts, uh, or than most normal speed ghosts. Hello. I didn't get to escape the ghost during a hunt, though. I can cleanse the ghost. There you go. Uh, oh, hi, buddy. Can I, do I need to take a ghost photo? I don't. There you go. That was just a twin. That was an even faster round. Uh, one minute, 30 seconds. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, let's see. You got Jay Anderson, Paramic, Witness, and Crucifix. Those are going to be quite difficult objectives. Uh, unless we have to do a full no evidence run here, which I really hope we will. I think the tier two, the tier one smudge sticks are just the best at uh, testing for speed. Now, it could be good here to not use them, but I'm just doing it because I'm crazy. 
Oh my god. Normal speed? Finally! Let's go. <laughs> yeah, totally normal speed. It's not a miling either. We can't really do a hunt test here because we're like in a bad spot. So we kind of just got to stay away. Stay away and get ready to hide in our like janky ass hiding spot over here. Still hunting. Okay, there we go. So it came from the kitchen or garage or something like that. So it's not any of the mega obvious speed ghosts. And at this point... People would lose their mind. They would be like, uh, what do I do? Let me leave the game. Nope. We're not doing that. We're sticking around and we're figuring it out, baby. Let's see. Finally, we get challenged. I'm loving it. So it could be here. We're still going to do some more hunt testing because it is, uh, we didn't get to do every test there. We didn't get the test for Jin. We didn't get the test for Obake, Phantom, Oni. Which are also things you can figure out during a hunt. This should all be, I don't know where this ghost is exactly. I'm just gonna leave it at this. This should be more than enough to figure out a poltergeist. We didn't. Oh, we didn't turn off the breaker. Never mind. You're right. It's not a gin. It's not a revenant. It's not a haunter because it would be slow. It's not a. Well, right, you could be. Not a moroi. Not a dio. Not a thay. Oh, here. Oh boy. Extremely loud. It's blinking. Oh, hello. What the fuck are these double back? I mean, I'm not having my flashlight on. Okay, so immediately coming back is not a yokai. It's throwing quite a bit. Not high enough for this to be a poltergeist. It's also not an obake. It's gonna stop hunting here very soon. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, so let's see. It's not a poltergeist. That's not enough of a mess for a poltergeist. Definitely not a phantom. I don't think it was an oni. It didn't look too blinky. It came immediately back after I turned on my flashlight. So not a yokai. Myling is definitely not quiet. Raichu didn't get fast when I, when it, when I turned on my flashlight. Not the twins because it's just like completely normal speed every time. Not Obake because it didn't change into a different ghost. Like a ghost model, I mean. Uh, so yeah, now we're suddenly into the hard territory where we actually have to use our brain Instead of it just being instantly obvious. But let's see it came from the living room there I kind of want to do one just smudge here. Do I have the cleanse objective? I don't have the cleanse objective I want to really make sure that I hit the ghost with the smudge stick So we're going to wait for another hunt so we can hit it properly You can just smudge the ghost in the ghost room but from my experience, you have a like a relatively or there's like a chance that you miss the ghost and that the ghost doesn't get smudged and then you just get killed because the ghost is going to hunt at a weird time that you don't expect. So please, could you hunt me? It doesn't seem like it's a touching doors that it's a demon because it's just oh. Okay. I'm going to crouch down. I'm going to I'm gonna smudge the ghost at 29.27 and just back off from this being. Nice. Check for yokai. We can do it again, I guess, but we already did that. Sorry, going into the basement. We can't. Okay, we can grab a crucifix for the objective. We're gonna do all kinds of stuff. Um, now we need to do, we need to grab some salt for the wraith. Okay. All good. Um,. So it's still coming from here, which is nice. So we know that the living room is most likely the ghost room. That's going to be important if we have to do Goryeo. Because the Goryeo, the only thing you can use to, uh, like, or uh, educatedly guess that it is a Goryeo is if it never changed ghost room. If the ghost never changed ghost room, it could be a Goryeo. If it at any point changes ghost room, it cannot be a Goryeo. So we're going to grab Crucifix. We're going to grab a... Um, actually, we don't need this. We're going to grab a candle and a smudge stick here. Or a candle and a uh, crucifix to try and figure out if it's an Onryo. Which I hope we're going to see another ghost in the Onryo. Because that's a ghost we already have before. Which I would really like to figure out something else. It's turning off lights. It's doing stuff in an area where we're not expecting it to be. What was it doing? It turned off the light over there. So, it's already been 1 minute and 30 seconds in 10 seconds here. I'm gonna leave these lights on. Alright, could you come over here? I don't know why. Just touch this door here. Maybe it is roaming. 
Yeah, it can now hunt if it is a... I mean, if it's over there, I'm gonna have to move my shit over there. It could kill me if it hunts right now. Wait, it blew out the candle. Never mind that. Okay. Um, so it is here. What a weird situation. Okay, there we go. So now that was the first blowout. Uh, it touched this door. First blowout, if it blows out three times and it doesn't hunt, it's not an on Rio. You give us a sign. Hello, hello, buddy. And you give us a sign. Uh, we need to test for orbs as well for Mimic. The demon, if it, like... It's touching the doors over there. It's not doing anything with these items. I mean, there's not many items in this room, so it, it's understandable. This is going to be very risky for me because I can't sprint away, but... Hopefully, we'll, we have five seconds to get away from the ghost and then, like, loop it while crouched or something. Uh, can you give me a sign? Eogens are fun. They're really easy to figure out. I uh, blew it out. That's the second blowout. It touched stuff over there. It's touching stuff. That was the third blowout, and it didn't hunt. So it also feels like it's a spirit because it's, like, hunting, not hunting at all. Or a shade. Uh, it's definitely not a demon. That would be unbelievable. It's not an Unreal because it didn't hunt right there. Um, blink the light. It's almost... It can already hunt. It, it's a spirit can already hunt now. Can you give us a sign? Already for 10 seconds here. Maybe Shade? Which would kind of be surprising. Uh, shade, well, we could do an interesting test for the Shade. So... The difference between... Let me let me step outside for a bit, because this is obviously going to be something like Shade or Spirit here. I step out. It, it's going to use the um, Crucifix now. Now, it could be something else. You do have to keep that in mind. There could just be a ghost that just decides to say, Fuck you. I'm going to not hunt for three minutes, even though that is really unlikely at zero sanity. It can happen. Um, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for that. But... Um, let's say that this is working as intended. We're gonna do something to rule out shade. How are we gonna rule out shade and how does the shade work? Let me go through all of the ghosts that... So, on Rio, as I said, if it blows out the candle three times, it doesn't hunt. It shouldn't be an on Rio. And if it hunts, like, uh, or if it ever uses a crucifix underneath a candle, it's definitely not an on Rio, which we haven't seen here, but maybe we'll see down the line. Um, for the Gorio, you're looking for roaming. If it never changes... Not necessarily roaming, change in ghost room. The Gorio can roam as much as it fucking wants, but it can never change the ghost room. So actually the main way I figure out Gorio is if you have a ghost that goes all over the place, but always returns to the ghost room and never changes it, that's when I think, oh, this is probably a Gorio because most other ghosts would have changed ghost room by then. Uh, for the Yurei, you're just waiting for the Yurei ability. The Yurei has a special ability where it closes a door from completely open to completely closed instantly. Now you have to be careful because other ghosts can do this randomly, but it is very obvious when it's most likely a Yure. Um, the spirit, which is what we're going for now probably, uh, if you smudge it, it cannot hunt for three minutes, whereas every other ghost can hunt after 90, uh, 90 seconds already, and a demon can even hunt after 60 seconds. So uh, this, it, it, we passed three minutes, so it could very much be a spirit. However, the shade can mimic a spirit or can look like a spirit, I should say, because mimic that otherwise people are going to be confused. Why? Because when you're in the room with a shade, it cannot hunt. So if you're in the room with the with the ghost and then you wait for three minutes, it doesn't hunt. Oh, it's a spirit. No, it could actually be a shade because the shade could just never hunt because you were in the room with it. For Wraith, you're looking for the ghost stepping in salt. For Banshee, you can either pay attention to its weird roaming behavior to the target or its uh, special ability using the... Uh, using the paramic and for the mare it's either gonna hunt at 60% sanity when all the lights are on or when all the lights are off or 40% sanity when all the lights are on uh, so it's either an early hunter or a late hunter depending on the state of the lights uh, all the lights near the ghost by the way not all the lights in the house obviously so now these sanity pills give me 20% sanity each so I'm gonna take two of them which will put me exactly at 40 why is that relevant because a shade can only hunt from 35% sanity onwards. So if we get it to hunt now, we know that it's not a shade because we would have to be, we, it can't because it cannot hunt until we're below 35. So then it would have to, then it would be a spirit. Um, we're also gonna do a salt test uh, and we're gonna grab a paramic, I guess, for if it's a weird ass um, 
weird as hell banshee here or a weird wraith you just gotta be a little and it's also for the objective right this could be really bad if it hunts right away here i guess i should just be yeah, this could be really bad but here we go let's place it here it's touching over there let me just place both of these they're gonna step on that during a hunt and then i'm gonna grab this one i'm gonna just get the hell out of here go to the kitchen don't hunt right here it blew out the candle again it's not hunting hello let's see so we're we need to be in the light for this by the way otherwise our sanity is going to keep draining but right now we're in the light here which means that our sanity is not going to drain at all because that's in how the new sanity system works um oh it hunted which means it's not a shade wait it sounds faster now wait no no it doesn't kind of did for a second there but that's just because my brain is broken um did it have an assault it didn't yet kill nemo that would be spicy so we're very likely to be dealing with a spirit here but it could just be a random ghost that just doesn't i guess we should say hi to it real quick and then we should smudge it at 3724 here uh 3724 so that if it um i need to look at the right timer 3724 um, if it now once again waits three minutes to, before it hunts, then we're definitely dealing with a... Oh, hi. Wait, 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 wait. This is amazing. Stand over there. Keep standing over there. I want to place this under your feet so we can rule out... There you go. We can rule out the wraith. Uh, that's a really cool trick for you right there. Uh, no wraith. Uh, no shade. Now, I did walk into the ghost there, so I draw my sanity, but it shouldn't be a shade. Uh, it's doing a bit of a weird... Like, it's hunting from weird angles now which makes me think it's probably not a gorio because gorios won't do that um like they will mostly hunt from the ghost room now they can hunt from other directions because the ghost doesn't have to hunt from the ghost room uh but yeah there we go we're at 30 now because i walked into the ghost which dropped my sanity by 10 anyway i'm gonna grab this i'm gonna really have to hold the i really want to have the crucifix work so i can get that objective gorios cannot change ghost room at all no that is their, like, the way you can tell them. Now, obviously, when you're playing with evidence, you can also use the Gorio Dots ability to figure out if it's a Gorio. Um, but because this is a no evidence run, we can't do that. It's still not hunting. Season his feet. Yeah. Yeah, if you have a monkey ball and you wish for sanity, the ghost roams, even if it's a Gorio. That's a special special edge case there so should still check for oh my god jesus christ kind of sick um still not hunting it's been it's been two minutes this is such a spirit i mean spirit is a it's like a nice ghost to learn how to do or like it's oh no never mind it's it, it is a mimic Look at that! It's a mimic! How incredible! <laughs> and we didn't even see the orbs. So it was either a shade or a spirit initially, and then it became a mimic down the line because now it's obviously a Dio, which is very, very cool. <laughs> Bro, I, I want to show you the orbs real quick. Mimics are so fun. Uh, so yeah, let me, let's see. I don't know where the ghost is exactly. But the Mimic will still have orbs. This could actually get me killed, but whatever. I just want to show you the orbs just for educational purposes. You can um, still see Mimic... Oh. What the fuck? When... Goodness gracious. Um, I can actually take these skills as well, even though it's not, def not necessarily going to save me. Um, even if you're playing at no sanit or no evidence, you will still see the Mimic orbs. So let's see where's the ghost room because the orbs will always show up in the ghost room so we can now see which room has been the ghost room this whole time is it gonna be the garage here let's see it is so yeah there you see look at that we have orbies even though which i should have checked that earlier i i was just so hyper fixated on the shade or spirit and it's because it probably was a shade or spirit um 
So, yeah, I'm gonna leave you to this. The homeowners are gonna have to fix that when they come back. I don't know if they'll ever come back. They might be dead. Uh, I did not really... We got one objective, that's fine. These are, like, these... This could have been a very tricky round, or we could have been fooled here. If this ghost showed, like, a, a hunting ability during the first hunt, we would have had to look for orbs or we would have gotten fooled. But anyway, that was one of the uh, different ghosts, which I'm very glad we saw uh, another one. There you go, a Mimic, another 2700. Let's uh, do a Willow Street House again. Sure thing. Oh, here we go. Fast again. Oh my god, it's a tiny girl. I might actually die here. I hate this one. I hate it. This is fucked. I'm fucking dead, dude. Ah! <laughs> it doubled back. <laughs> That a, is that a Thay or a Moro? It didn't sound too fast, dude. That's so fucking annoying. That would have been totally fine if it wasn't the tiny ghost model. Honestly, I'm telling you, the tiny ghost model, if there was a setting, I think that might have been... It was a Thay or a Mora. It was one of the two. Um, was that a Mora? It was a Mora. Okay, so if there was a stat in the statistics for whether which ghost model you die to the most 100 percent hands down it's got to be that one for me because the problem i have with looping that one is that i can't fucking see it so i don't know where to go to um to like survive uh when i'm looping around an object like that like obviously if i have a sprint there i would have been fine but i didn't have one so rip baroni yeah what's my most deaths to they'll say most common goes still the mimic I'm actually so glad it updated the thing now uh, for my most deaths, which feel way more normal. Like, the Thay is a really dangerous ghost, especially for because of the way I play, where I tend to play on insanity and stuff a lot. And when you're playing on insanity, the ghost can immediately start hunting if it's a Thay, which is uh, very spooky. Can you give us a sign? Not hunting. Oh, uh, hi. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a disaster. This could be... Uh, let's go far away from the ghost again. Because this could be Banshee, Wraith, or Phantom behavior. Because those ghosts can roam towards... Um... Oh, it's over there. It's a fucking revenant again. Are you kidding me, dude? We get one fucking round where we cannot figure out the ghost during a hunt and then it's going back to this again? Revenant. <laughs> I really want to. Can I see the ghost during a hunt? Come on. Wait. Uh, what the fuck? Wait. Huh? It, it sounded like it got faster down there. It sounded for a moment like it was a hauntu or something. That it got fast in the basement. Wait, while I wasn't even there? Wait, I have to quickly test that because that sounded kind of suspicious. Um, I mean, I could die here if this is a revenant. It sounded extremely slow though. Uh, turning off the breaker? Maybe Hantu? Because it was as slow as I would think a revenant to be, but... Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, it's a Hantu. Look at that. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I'm dead as fuck, dude. Goodbye, crew. It's a freaking crawly ghost. Don't turn on your flashlight. All right, never mind. It is a revenant. What a weird. Why did it get fast in the basement when I wasn't even there, though? I mean, it's okay. <laughs> Very spooky. But that's why you gotta turn off your equipment and just crouch down to break line of sight so you can hide literally in plain sight. Stay away from the from the crazy revenant. Alrighty, well, uh, almost got myself killed there. It got only fast once it got like really close to me. <laughs> Another revenant. We've already gotten at least one revenant before. It's only like 50% of the I mean, you can figure out a lot of ghosts during hunts if you do like multiple hunts. Uh, because you can, like, figure out a Wraith if you play Salt during a hunt. Uh, Phantom Oni, Jin can be a little tricky sometimes. It could have, de yeah, I probably detected my equipment as soon as I stepped on the stairs there. The, uh, the tier 3 Paramike still ass, but at least we get it. Alright, let's do another one. Honestly, what I would just invite people to do is, like, do proper full no evidence investigations. Oh, it's fast again. No? No, it's normal speed! Into a gin test here. 
Let's go. Normal speed. No revenant. No thing. No more. I could be right you though. Oh, it's in the basement. It's not a gin. I'm gonna stop hunting here very soon. I'm gonna smudge it. Um, I smudged it at 48.13 here. Or 48.10 10 or something. Um, alrighty, good stuff. So that was a normal ghost, at least for now. So we smudged it so we can test for the spirit and the demon here. We're gonna grab another smudge stick really quick. We're gonna grab some salt for the wraith, potentially. Didn't look any special there. I'm gonna grab this. Uh, I guess we could look for Orbeez in the basement really quick to check for Mimic. Just as long as we hold the smudge stick close to heart. Should be okay. That. Let's uh, actually drop the flashlight and just look with this. Um, almost can a demon hunt here. Not yet, though. Uh, what? It touched the door. Wait. Huh? Wait, so it's not in the basement. Wait, why did it come from the... Oh, maybe it came from back here. Oh, it turned on the light. Not a mare. That's one of the other ways you can figure out a mare. Which, by the way, there's multiple ways. Oh, I turned off the breaker. Not a gin. We already knew that, but not a gin. Um, there's another really cool way you can figure out that it's a mare. Uh, well, because if it turns on a light... Oh, it's... It's not an oni. If it turns on a light, it is not a mare. But if it never turns on a light... Uh, it doesn't have to be a mare, right? Because you could just have another ghost that doesn't turn on a light. So how do you figure out if it is a mare if you don't get it to turn on a light? You can go around the ghost and flick light switches. Every 10 seconds, flick a... You know, for each light switch, there's a cooldown of 10 seconds. So just flick a light switch, flick the next one that's close by, flick the next one, and then... Well, if you flick this one within 10 seconds, don't do it. Wait for a little bit, and then flick it again, flick it off again. If you keep doing that, you will eventually get the mare ability, which is where it instantly turns off a light switch. It's a really cool trick, especially in a team. Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, it's going there. This is really fucked. It's just, what's that? That was normal, right? Holy shit. That was just normal, uh, normal hunting. I was just, I was too focused on the mare. Uh, so it's not a spirit, at least. Uh, it was uh, almost two minutes. Did it step in the salt there? I wasn't really paying attention. I don't think it's a phantom. I would have been dead if it was a phantom there. It's not an Oni because we got that airball ghost event. Uh, it's not a Hantu because it's sped up, right? Uh, it's not a... Oh, boner. I'll just pick that up. It's not a Raichu because it didn't get fast next to my equipment. It could actually... Is it like a Myling? That's why I did something. It sounded so weird. It did step in the salt, so not a Wraith either. Okay, here we go. Not a Jin because it turned off the breaker. Uh, we didn't test for Yokai yet. Yokai test is actually really tricky on Edgefield. So down I think Grafton is like one of the best maps for this. Grafton Willow can be pretty good as well. Grafton might just be the best because of the uh, white space. Motion sensor crucifix. So it's in the. I smudged it again. So it's in the entrance right here. So we're gonna place the crucifixes to try and keep ourselves safe. Um, there's a motion sensor in the middle here. Wait, the ghost is standing right there. You can see the laser. It doesn't... Wait. Oh, come on. It's a Yurei. I mean, that's good, though. We saw the Yurei ability. You saw what happened there? <laughs> Wait, unless it was a ghost event. Was it a ghost event? No, it was the ghost event because you can see it right here. Um, You can actually see it like this on the door as well. I think you should see it. Yeah, you see the double EMF. You saw that for a second there. The double EMF on the door. So basically, the Yurei... This is good because there's only a... Ha there's like... We've seen almost all the ghosts dread that you can figure out during hunts and almost all the ghosts you can figure out outside of hunts. Um, but the Yurei, it's actually the only ghost that can close the front door when it's either not hunting and not doing a ghost event. Any ghost can close the door when it's hunting because that's just the way the hunts work. And when it does a ghost event, it'll close all the doors, including the front door when it's close to it. However, the Yurei can do that when it's not even, um, when it's when it's not doing any of that when it uses its ability. It'll fully close the front door, which is actually the most obvious way you can tell that it's a Yurei, but you do have to make sure that there wasn't a ghost event. And here we can see that there wasn't any high spikes, so there was no ghost event. Now, it could still technically be a Mimic, so let's quickly check for Orbeez, uh, because maybe we got fooled there. I'm gonna wait for my sanity to get high up. Uh, anything Crucifix, we're not gonna do that one. 
but that's a really cool so anyone i haven't explained yet the banshee you need to get for you need to get the pair mic you every time the ghost screams you have a 30 percent chance that it does a special scream which sounds really obviously like a pair or like a banshee like it's really different from all the other ones um Walter guys just during a hunt that can throw a lot the Unreal we saw earlier with the candle the shade again with the 35 percent sanity hunting which we can do because we have sanity pills here uh gorio never roaming obake is the during a hunt as well Let's see where's my whoopsie daisy did i drop my flashlight on the ground uh, you, oh no there it is uh let's check for where's my cam there's my cam it knocked on this window right here it threw something in here i'm not seeing any orbies because last time we had a ghost that was a that felt like it was a different ghost and then it was a, a mimic so we need to do the due diligence of checking it i'm not seeing any orbies here so i'm gonna just say it's not a mimic um means it's another another one in the pocket Let's go. I mean, that was a pretty solid run. That was also relatively fast. I mean, we got lucky. That's the thing with Yuris. You need to kind of get lucky. Uh, Yuris and Gorios are my least favorite ghosts because they're just, like, so unreliable. Like, a ghost not roaming or not changing ghost room is not enough to know it's a Gorio. Um, yeah, there you go. It did a Yuri ability. You can see it right here. It did two abilities, actually. I only heard it once. Um, and it... Uh, that's 3,000. Absolutely wonderful. All right, let's do... Uh, one more run for all the marbles here. All right, we got Jason. I mean, if this is another really quick uh, hunting ghost, we're going to do one more run after this. I want to do one more proper no evidence investigation. Oh, it's hunting up there. Sounds like sometimes I get a little... The twins can be tricky. So, it's normal speed, I think. Is it Jin? Nope. Getting up. Uh, what the fuck? Is this a phantom? No. What the hell was... was just, I, just, it's, I didn't see... Is it Obake? Wait, wasn't an Obake that swapped to the tiny girl ghost model? So it looked like it was gone for a really long time there for a second? Wait, that might have actually happened. That, that can be really tricky. Let's see. So, um, definitely not a Dio, Morithe, or Raichu. Those are the easy ones. It's sped up, so it can't be a Hantu. Definitely not a Revenant, because it wasn't fast as hell. I could hear it just fine, so probably not a Myling. Uh, it's out of normal speed, so not the Twins either. Uh, Jin, I did the test right... Oh, it turned off the Breaker. Definitely not a Jin. This is really unfortunate. And I wish you could turn off the Ghost's ability to turn off the Breaker. That would be so sick. This is annoying as hell. Uh, let's hope it's here. It's probably going to be up on the attic, though. I really want to do a yokai test. You need to smudge the ghost as well. Uh, please tell me it's here. So I don't have to go all the way up to the attic. I do have to go all the way up to the attic. That's really rude of you. Unfortunate. Because, I mean, looping the ghost with no sprint when the lights are all out is very scary. Not hunting right now. For some reason. I'm just gonna walk. To, it should be in the, that room. It hunted from there. We're just gonna make our way over here. Be all sneaky and stuff. The ghost of an electrician is like, finally, after a lifetime of fixing shit, I can now destroy it. Oh. We can do. I don't wanna do a yoga test over here. Why is it not hunting now? Kinda surprising. Hello? What are you doing up there? You're just, just hanging out? Don't turn off the brake, I swear to fuck. <laughs> okay, um, so probably not a demon, I would say, given the fact that nothing is happening right now. I guess we could text for, test for... Oh, well, here we go. Normal speed again. Come over here. I want to really test for... Test for Yoka. Wait. Yoka? Hello? Hello? No. It's... I'm 
I'm gonna. Oh fuck! I want. I should have known. I knew it was gonna run out soon. Uh, so it's not an Obake probably because it didn't change. I don't think it. It did not throw much at all. It did do a few big throws, but not not much. I mean, we could set it up again, but I don't think that was a poltergeist. It didn't do too much. Um. But then we are down to the more technical aspects outside of the hunt. Let's see it. It's giving Gorio vibes. I mean, it's in the same room. It'll be more than enough. I really need to smudge the ghost here. I don't... It definitely blinked a lot, but it didn't seem like it was an... Oh, it's definitely not a phantom. That's 100%. Um, I would like to get the salt out so I can test for Wraith. If you don't hunt right now, I can do that. I appreciate it. All right, then, sir. <laughs> it's been a while since I saw that. <laughs> it's actually extremely rare because you have to be like right because the there will be an invisible wall uh so i was like literally a second on or like a split second on time all right let's grab a salt grab the i mean it hasn't teleported to me or anything so it's probably not a wraith but it might as well might as well check it um do this do we need to do anything else we'll grab the um motion sensor instead Pretty close between hunts. I mean, we had a really slow hunt before. Uh, I put that there. Please, no hunt yet. I want to turn on these lights. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. Okay, there we go. We grab the smudge because we need to smudge it during a hunt so we can test for a spirit. That's going to be enough for the wraith. <laughs> it's having a giggle, dude. <laughs> having a wee old giggle, yeah. <laughs> yes, silly. Can you do this through the floor? I don't actually know. That's kind of spooky. <laughs> so it's definitely in the nursery. So nursery is the ghost room. So whatever changes ghost room, we can rule out a Gorio. Um, it's definitely a bit strange. Like it's not hunting for a long times. Um, because this is also like a lot of the things. Like, it's not necessarily even... Like, you can figure out so many... There's so much information you can gather from hunts. If you... Like, you can you can gather information that leans you towards Demon, or Shade, or Banshee, or Wraith. Like, there's so many things. So many different ways the ghost can hunt. So just doing one hunt, hunt only is such a disservice to the game. Because there's so much more to it. You come over here. I'm just gonna smudge the ghost now. Uh, oh, this could actually kill me. At 138. Okay, 138, we smudged the ghost. These hunts actually feel really short. Would be interesting. I mean, it would be too obvious, right? If the shade had a shorter hunt, I imagine. It'd be super easy. It stepped in the salt. It's obviously stepped on the motion sensor. There we go. Uh, not a poltergeist, right? Because it didn't... I mean, we already wrote that out. Now we get the test for... What did I say? 138. I'm going to grab another smudge here. Just be careful. Grab a smudge. Smudge candle crucifix. So we can do the on Rio test. I'll be... Because you can actually hide in the nursery. There's a little hiding spot right there. That you can use. Uh, we grab this. This. And this. It's been... It's almost a minute now. Almost a minute. Uh, exactly a minute now. So now the demon could hunt. Uh, why did you do the breaker, you dickhead? So annoying. I'm gonna, if, it, if it's a demon, I might die here, but we'll avenge you, or I avenge myself. Do that there. Grab these two. I'm not gonna grab a, uh, air mic here, because I could actually get myself killed. So we place this here. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Testing for a, um... I used the crucifix while the candle is still on. So bye-bye on Rio. Bye-bye spirit. Let's go. That's amazing. Okay. We ruled that out. We rule out Wraith as well. Okay. That is... I wanted... I really hope that we would see that some, somewhere through these runs as well. Um, that's, that's how you can figure out an... There's like different things you can do for each ghost, right? There's things you can do to confirm that that's that ghost. 
and there's things you can do to rule out that it's that ghost and for each ghost if you know all of those things if you know all of that for each of the ghosts you are a phasmo master oh something now kind of annoying in here might have to smudge but that's okay oh i don't let's go gotta gotta keep in mind that there's many ways to survive a hunt you can hide you can uh kill the ghost no that's not in the game yet um or you can just like la outlast the hunt if you survive the hunt you don't have to be in a hiding spot if you can just like make sure that you live longer than the hunt lasts <laughs> by the way they're never adding that to the game don't get my word don't get it twisted don't go oh it's obsessed they're adding exorcisms that's not a thing <laughs> okay anyway um i'm going to i think eat my pills at this point because there's not really much we can do with the hunts anymore it's now just uh regular ass behavior baby i don't think it's a yokai because it like immediately came over to me like it was just um we could do a mare test here. Wait a minute. This is actually such perfect sanity pills. Getting 20% sanity per sanity pill is such a perfect amount. What we could do here is take three pills, which will put it at 60%. So then if the ghost hunts like pretty soon after this, we're going to know that it's a uh, it's a mare. Let me grab Paramic we already have in there. Let me just grab more smudge sticks. I guess we could grab a photo cam. Do we need the ghost photo? We don't need the ghost photo, but it's fun to get it if we can. Um, and then we're... Oh, no, no, no. We need to get the camera. That's way more important. Video cam for in case this is somehow a mimic. Would be kind of unlikely at this point because we didn't see any special ghosts. But I'm glad we... This could be a Gorio. It hasn't changed ghost room at all. It's just Gorio stuff. Don't you dare be a... Um... Definitely not a demon, right? Because it didn't. It hunted, even though there was a crucifix in the room. Don't you dare be a mimic right now. Right, it's not a mimic. Let's go. We have to do something else. No mimic. Oh, of course. Right, let me drop this over here. It's not. That's not a Yure ability or anything. Just touching a door doesn't mean it's a Yure. Um. Let's actually. Let's do a little bit of a, uh, let's be in here for a second with the lights off and then see if it hunts. That would be mare. But I will also need to drop my sanity below 60, right? I don't want to get a ghost event, which would be, I mean, it could happen. I think that should be enough for me to be right below 60. So now if the ghost hunts in that room, when the lights are off, so the, the American hunt at 60 when the lights are off. When the lights... That's our first whisper. Uh, when the lights are on, the ghost can only... American only hunt at 40. So keep that in mind. Our first whisper. So every whisper, as I said before many times, but it's good to... Rem uh, every whisper has a... That's going to be really annoying. Has a 30% chance to become a scream if it's a banshee. I'm going to turn this off. Uh, just so we don't go deaf with the paramic was snoring Do a i want to get a giggle on the paramic can you do that for me ghost that would be sick give me a giggle um so gorio is still up, up in the air we can do shade test with the sanity as well here which is going to be relatively easy so we're doing multiple things at once right we're testing for mare right now to see if it hunts i think it's doing a ghost event yeah i don't think it touched me there but I'm going to have to do a test for that real quick. Is it the reason I knew that was a ghost event and not a hunt, I still have to be careful though, was because the light turned off and the light doesn't turn off like that for a, a norm or for a hunt. My sanity's still okay. I hope it is. My sanity is perfectly above 50, but below 60. So this is like the perfect range to be for, for mayor. Isn't there a cap on number of whispers? No. Oh, set. So, I, I thought I always explained that very properly, but maybe I, I made it confusing. There's no cap on the number of whispers. It would be cool if there was, actually, honestly. The reason I say after four, I rule out Banshee is because 
you could sit here forever. You could get whisper after whisper after whisper after whisper, and it would still possibly not be a banshee. You gotta like put a like a a cutoff point for your own sanity somewhere. Like if I if I get four whispers, I'm just like I've just decided that I stop checking for banshee because at that point it's just extremely unlikely to um to be a banshee. It still could be, but at that point I can just blame the game. <laughs> You give me a sign. That was the second whisper. It's not hunting still. I would say it's probably not a mare then. Usually go for five or six. Yeah, but it takes for me it takes me so long before I get four whispers already. Um like at five or six you're like actually in the impossible range. I think when you do four, it's like twelve percent. Like twelve percent that it's still uh still a banshee, which is just like that's unlikely enough for me. I mean, here we're getting quite a few. Uh, it hasn't touched a close the door, which, by the way, it seems that Yurais can close doors even when you're really far away from them. It can still do its, like, ability, strangely enough. Th throwing stuff. Um, it seems like it's not a banshee here because it's not, like, roaming towards me, which, by the way, we could actually place a... Um, so the banshee has a roaming ability where it will roam towards the target and i'm the target this time uh i thought it turned on wait did i just hear a light switch i did hear a light switch so that way we can rule out the mare for sure all right so no more need to chest for rare mare which means that we can um now drop our sanity a little more and start ruling out shade i feel like this is a gorio the problem with Gor gorios are always going to take the longest when you're doing this because gorios are the the ghost that, like, you have to rule out every other ghost before you can say, okay, this is probably a Gorio. Um, but that's just part of That's just the way Gorios are designed right now, which is why I really hope, like, Gorios, no sanity or no evidence runs are as slow as the weakest ghost or as the most obscure ghost. And in this, uh, in this current set of ghosts, Yure and Gorio are the weakest ghosts. So what I would really like to see is giving some abilities to those ghosts specifically, because it would vastly improve the experience of doing a no evidence run. Because right now, because those ghosts are so clearly the hardest to find on a no evidence run, a no evidence run gets really formulaic because you have like always, you basically rule them out in the same order every time. Sometimes you get like, oh, it turned on a light. I can I, for, I can forget about a mare now, but like the some ghosts show up in different orders but it's always like you always have to do your a banshee gorio last which is kind of annoying yeah mares with the light bulb trick um which is nice it's it's nice that mares mares have both a uh way to like sh that they can rule themselves out and that you can rule them out which or that you can confirm them which is really nice like mares are totally fine in my opinion um but yours and gorio don't have any of that it's just complete rng like, obviously, sometimes the ghost will just change ghost room immediately, and then you know, oh, wait, it's not a Gorio. But in this case, it's not doing any of that. But I still couldn't leave with Gorio because it could obviously just be a Yure that doesn't change the ghost room. Now, it's not whispering anymore. I would say it's unlikely to be a Banshee. Um, oh, it used the crucifix while I was in the room. Let's see when it used that. That's going to be really important. Um... Because I was in the room, it seems unlikely that it is a shade. That shouldn't be able to be a shade, but I don't know how that works. Shades sometimes hunt in the ghost room or in the same room with me. Uh, what was my sanity? My sanity was high enough. So it was above 35, which means it cannot be a shade. Now, so in this case, we got three whispers, which, as I said, it could still be a banshee. So in this case, um, it seems highly unlikely. Uh, I can eat one more pail here because I don't want to get hunted. We want to just figure out Yure. Uh, I think I want to get one more Whisper. And then if it's still, if we still don't get a Scream, it could obviously be a Banshee. But at that point, you're getting like really unlucky. And you can kind of just say, fuck you, Fasmo, and, <laughs> and then just, just call it a win anyway. Hello. Dude, the Paramike, I should have upgraded the Paramike. I have the tier three now. Um... It just turned off the breaker, you dickhead. Yeah, dickhead. I mean, we're literally here for so fucking long. I wish, you know what I wish about the Banshee? 
is that they had a higher chance to do a whisper. That would be so nice. That would literally solve the problem with Banshees. Um, because the Myling has that, but it's so, like, I'll never figure out the Myling using that ability because it's just so, like, unreliable. Because, like, when you get a bunch of... Like, there, we got, like, three whispers really quick together or in quick succession. And it wasn't obviously a Myling because we did that test before. Um, it just touched the door regularly. I mean, the fact that we saw, sat over there for so long and it never touched the motion sensor. I'm just going to say it's not a Banshee. I'm losing my mind over here sitting here. Um, it never, ever, ever changed Ghost Room. This this is like the throw, the the seventy thirty that's like uh, always annoying, where you can spend like a genuine effort, really work hard, and still not still get screwed over by a really passive Ure that just doesn't do its ability and doesn't change Ghost Room. But still, in this situation where you had a ghost that didn't use a Ure ability and didn't change Ghost Room ever, you should always go for Gorio because if it ends up being a Ure, too bad you got unlucky. But if you guess Ure and it was a Gorio, then I mean, you ignored the signs that it was a Gorio. So, like, in this case, we're just going to go with Gorio. We got all objectives. Look at that. It literally never changed Coach Room. Um, I mean, that is that's a good point, a good one to end on because it's always, like, the hardest for no evidence um, because it's really, really unreliable. But, yeah, there you go. Even the hardest ghost in no evidence can you figure out by just spending a genuine effort using your knowledge, ruling out literally every single other ghost. And like, obviously, if you truly genuinely only care for grinding and you don't care about your stats, you don't care about uh, like learning all of the ghost behaviors and properly testing them and actually properly playing the game for all the just, uh, why can't I skip the thing? There we go. Um, you can, you can do whatever you want. I'm not being the, I'm not being the, the, the Phasmo police here. I'm just saying that I, I'm telling you that I believe in you and that you can do a true no evidence run every single time. You don't just have to give up and leave after you finish it, after you do one single hunt. I highly recommend you give a proper no evidence run a try because it feels really satisfying. You're actually like fully using all of the game's mechanics uh, when it comes to the ghosts and their abilities. Obviously, you're not using the evidence items if you just want to like if you want to do a normal game, like an actual normal game, you can just play professional or nightmare. But yeah, nightmare is actually a really good example of like a true way to play the game as well because you get two evidence. So you use the evidence items but you still have to use no evidence stuff as well because you're not going to get all the evidence but yeah there you go that was a 20 minute run because it was a gorio that's just how that's gonna go let me know what you think i'm not uh, once again i'm not trying to call anyone out i'm not trying to be rude to anyone i'm just saying that it's really fun for me and i wish that people would do more no evidence rather than this like in my opinion kind of cheesy way of just leaving if they don't get the ghost correct let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instant or click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.